If you are a corporate who won't be caught dead without a business class phone yet can't stand the BlackBerry software then you must give the Moto Q a shot. Simply put, it's Motorola's answer to business class phones. But unlike its competitors, the phone is in big but has a 2.4 inch TFT display and offers a full-fledged QWERTY keypad and responsive keys. Having Windows Mobile 6 means you can access Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Other features include a media player that plays WMV, MP4 and 3GP for video and MP3 for music. But the phone is not without its share of downers and that's no Wi-Fi and an average camera. Specs include hot swap slot, 8 messaging inboxes, 96 MB RAM and a host of other applications like WorldMate, Splash ID and Yahoo Go. Moto Q is priced at 20,720 rupees and has a decent battery life and clear reception. If you're business like then this 3 star rated phone is not a bad option. Well, uh, one of the reports recently saying that Motorola and Samsung now sell more Windows phones than HTC the original maker itself. But yep. uh, still somehow uh, not yet denting BlackBerry's market. But they can't dent BlackBerry's market because BlackBerry's software and the inter enterprise integration that blackberry offers is just immensely better than anything that microsoft can offer by themselves right so that's the reason why and uh, you know in our bad points again once we've said that camera is still a disappointment we've been talking about this ever since windows phones launched somehow they just can't put a decent camera onto a windows phone that seems to be a big problem everywhere i mean we saw some decent uh, windows smartphones at ces in fact uh, one of the samsung ones that we saw and one of the motorola ones we saw uh, seemed to have a fairly decent camera as well right but uh, The Moto Q9H uh, we've given uh, three and a half stars uh, because we think that the form factor is nice, good video quality and feature rich. But as we said, poor camera, no video conversion, some quirks, and at the end of the day, it's just another Windows phone, so nothing spectacular. True.